Hi guys, my name is Will. Uh, I'm with Military Lawn Cuts and today we're going to be teaching you uh, what a proper uh, leaf cleanup should look like, uh, mainly in the, in the fall time, um, but uh, we'll just jump right into it. What it should look like, the tips and tricks on how to do one properly and um, how to do the job right. After your job is done, this is what a proper leaf cleanup job should look like. So if you can look at the, the grass here, um, the majority of the leaves are picked up. Um, I mean, you're going to have a few here and there that kind of, you know, are still there, but, but the main portion of the lawn is cleaned up. Um, and that includes the turf, that includes the flower bed. Um, so if you come up here, You know, majority of the leaves are, are really truly picked up, so we're leaving the property um, in a clean uh, fashion um, to really, you know, picking up all of those leaves and, and making sure you do a good proper job. going to be some tools that you're going to need to do this leaf cleanup and for every single small equipment that we operate as at, in our company with military lawn cuts we always require to have hearing protection and eye protection that's the bare minimum um, we do recommend gloves it's not uh, mandatory but uh, we do recommend it and um, these gloves are great uh, they're actually called active armor um, they are a lighter duty with uh, some good grip that you can get at either Menards um, or if you don't have Menards by you, you can always order them online. But we found that these are uh, one of the best gloves to use um, when doing uh, work outside um, with a variety of different tools. So for leaf cleanups, um, you're going to definitely need your blowers. Um, so we always start off by blowing the leaves out of flower bed, out of the flower beds, um, and really into piles, so that it makes it a lot easier to clean up. Um, you're going to always need your two-cycle um, engine oil that goes in the uh, steel equipment that we have. You're going to need bags to bag the leaves. Uh, we always bag our leaves um, in large black trash uh, trash bags. Uh, the other things that we uh, use for our leaf cleanups are uh, you're going to need three different rakes and um, when it's dry out these this metal rake or lighter duty metal rake and this big plastic rake are great for um, really allowing those leaves to you know to pile in together when you're raking them in um, sometimes it does get a little wet out there um, we do work in, in light rain and mist, so when the leaves get real wet and damp and heavy, um, this metal rake uh, is, is perfect for that. So you always want to make sure you have all this equipment um, whenever you are going out on the job to do a leaf cleanup. And uh, from there, we'll transition into showing you how to properly do a leaf cleanup. Okay, so this here is a property that we're about to do a leaf cleanup on. And I just wanted to show you kind of what a typical leaf cleanup may look like. Um, this one isn't too bad. Um, sometimes the whole lawn is, is at this height. But um, so really best practices, um, if you come up here and you look inside the flower bed, um, what we want to do is we want to really start on the porch here and blow all of these leaves out onto the lawn. Um, so it makes it a lot easier to clean up and uh, we'll do that on the whole flower bed um, any any leaves that are in um, that rock wall same thing we're blowing them out getting them on the lawn and then we can kind of use our blowers to kind of make piles 
um, and then it makes it that much easier to clean up. Uh, what I also wanted to show you on the curb here, um, anything in here, again, needs to be blown out, put into piles. When you come up to the curb like this, um, it makes it easier to go with the wind. So if the wind's blowing this way, then you'll start on this end, and you'll really kind of just blow it down uh, into a pile. And, and you can really kind of rake it up on the curb uh, or on the street as long as there's, you know, it's not a, a busy street or anything like that. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, but uh, when we get to that portion of the of the job, then we'll take some time and, and we'll show you kind of best practices on that as well. guys so once the uh, majority of the blowing is um, is complete uh, this is really what it should look like so uh, this is the front lawn here um, as you can see a lot of the leaves the majority of the leaves have been picked up uh, you can take a look at the flower beds here you can really see that dirt in there to where the leaves are not sitting on top nice and clean um, and then if you look over here on the street we put all of the leaves in one long pile here, so that makes it real easy to clean up. Okay. All right, so for the backyard, what I did is I took the blower and I blew all the stuff that was on the concrete in the flower beds, and I really pushed it to one corner back here, so it makes it a lot easier to clean up. So as you can see, the pile's all back here. This grass is mostly cleaned up here and all the leaves are pushed into one pile in the corner. So what I did back here is I pushed all the leaves back here into this corner. And again, as you can see, I pushed all the leaves as far back up in the, into the corner as possible. Get that nice, I mean, this stuff is, this stuff is knee high back here and it's gonna make it a lot easier for us to come in with bags and, and really pack those bags in. Just make the cleanup a lot easier. It's important to note that when you're doing a leaf cleanup, it's the front, the back, the sides, behind the AC unit, under any trampolines, in any ditches, it's the full property cleanup. Now sometimes you'll break up into groups, whether you're in a two-man crew, you'll have one person start up front, one person start at back when you're blowing, and then you get to the cleanup portion of it. And it's important to note to not leave equipment out near the street. Or, in this scenario, by the driveway um, next to the garbage can. Because when the garbage trucks come by, they might think that that is uh, garbage and they might take it. Um, same thing goes um, up in the front of the street. If you're in, in the back of the property, you don't want to leave that equipment that you're responsible for um, if it gets stolen, damaged or anything of that nature that could happen. So make sure to take responsibility, take ownership of that equipment. It's your responsibility to make sure that it gets back to the shop at the end of the day. Um, 
And that's just a good, a good pointer to, to note when you're doing leaf cleanups to be aware of the equipment. All right, so when it comes to the actual leaf cleanup portion, um, typically you'll be in a two-man crew, so one person can do this job, and then one person can help rake the leaves near the entry hole of the bag. But you want to start on the lowest elevation. Um, if you're on flat ground, it doesn't matter. Um, or typically you want to, if the wind's blowing this way, you want to be at the back end of the wind. But for here, we're kind of on a down slope, so I'll start uh, where the elevation is lower. So that way, when I start to rake the leaves in with my hand, it's a lot easier for the leaves to go into the bag. So I'll take the bag and I'll take the heel of my foot and put it on the inside of the bag. One, one on the left, one on the right. So that way I'm standing halfway with my heel inside the bag. So that way I can take my hand to start raking these leaves in. Just like this. And then, your partner will take the leaves and continually pull the leaves towards the entry hole of the bag. That way, you can continue to pack it in until the bag gets completely full. Now, once the bag gets completely full to where you can't put any more leaves in, then you lift the bag up. And the bag holder will put the entry point together and put your weight on the bag to get all the air out. while the other person scoops up leaves just like this while the bag holder holds the bag open and allows you to dump the leaves in the bag and you'll continue to do that until the bag is completely full to about right there where you can kneel on it tie it up, and put it to the side for the truck to come pick it up. Hey guys, one last thing before I go. Uh, you always want to make sure to take the blower and really blow off that, you know, the, the alleyway, the driveway, the sidewalks, the curbs, the front porch, the back patio, anywhere that that client is really going to come out and, and see the property. Um, it doesn't hurt to even do just a, a light blow uh, across the turf again uh, to get all those last minute kind of leaves, kind of just push them back away from the house um, to where the customer's not really seeing them to make sure we're really leaving a lasting impression um, on the client. Um, and then last thing, just make sure you do one last walk around the entire property to make sure you have all your tools, your equipment, and just really so you're not leaving any of that stuff behind uh, because it unfortunately does happen. So other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.